when I was still an art student, I remember we used to joke about uh, what our future might look like. And that maybe after all these assignments, we might still end up unemployed or working some, some mindless job. And we used to assign random jobs to each other. Like, for example, I would end up going around with a cart on the street selling ravioli. And actually, that's where the title Giulino's Radioactive Ravioli came from. But when I think about these paintings, the ravioli metaphor is quite appropriate in the sense that we're all familiar with how ravioli look like, but you never really know what's inside until you actually try it out. And uh, there's a similar approach with these paintings, in the sense that they're realistically executed and they're quite accessible. But there are multiple flavors if you explore them in more detail. My name is Julie Malia. I'm also known as Julino, and that's like my nickname in Maltese. And that's my country of origin. I'm sure my accent gives it away. I'm a freelance illustrator, um, graphic designer, visual artist. Although I originally graduated in psychology, I also play drums. That's like my other life. Um, I'm basically a curious person, and I'm intrigued by this notion of uh, exploring ideas, be it visual or rhythmic. In this project, essentially, I'm assigning alternative visual interpretations to familiar objects or expressions or elements from pop culture. So I'm identifying imagery that we're used to seeing or phrases we're used to hearing and see where I can take it to visually. So I'm exploring the nuances and the hazy overlap between verbal and visual language. Sometimes errors in translation between the two can yield some interesting surprises. For example, a mishearing of Kama Sutra became Kama Sutra, and the visual interpretation of that gave rise to this triad of chameleons hovering over this glorious celestial background. It's almost like a biblical scene. The paintings can probably survive on their own without explanation, but uh, the titles add an additional punchline. Error 404, Other Window Not Found, is a bit of a cheeky tribute to the fallen Other Window in Gozo. There's an element of deadpan humor, perhaps the work can fall under the category of uh, pop surrealism. It's playful, but the painting can also be a poignant reminder about loss and the void it can leave behind. So at first you may laugh, but sometimes the implied narrative can be a bit more uh, sobering. And I think there's a moody element throughout. There's like a subtle veil of melancholia on top of the dry humor and social commentary. Sometimes there's something I've read, or a painting, or maybe a film, or a musician. Or just the existential randomness of daily life. I think that's the main inspiration actually, the absurdity of it all. Which at times can be saddening, but it can also be humorous. And sometimes I respond to these cues by writing down uh, random thoughts or ideas or mental images. It's a habit I have. Sometimes it takes the form of a sketch, but usually it starts in written form. I ruminate and fantasize about these ideas until the promising ones start to materialize in the form of a sketch or a collage. Sometimes the idea works and sometimes it doesn't and I have to let go of ideas that don't look that exciting after a couple of days. That leaves me with the stronger ones. There's a strong collage element in my work. However, the juxtapositions are very much calculated. It's not just random encounters. In fact, sometimes the combination falls flat. But sometimes there's chemistry and it's magic, it works. Once I have the idea and visual research in place, then I can start the painting phase. I can get lost in detail and take care of the technical aspects like uh, tonal values, resemblance, composition. I have a bit of an obsession with detail, but sometimes I like to leave some brushwork visible. I'm basically borrowing some techniques from the traditional fine art world to visualize what I want to say. So in this sense, the craft element is more of a tool 
that can help me deliver the deadpan humor. Painting technique for me is like learning a language. The more words you know, the better you can explain yourself until it becomes second nature. But I'm more interested in the poetry which I can create with those words, even if I just use a part of that language. In fact, limitations can help you to be more resourceful with what you already know. I don't really relate to the romanticized notion of the artist, where you wake up one morning and you start painting frantically and suddenly you have a masterpiece. True, some days I am more productive and inspired and on some other days nothing works out, but uh, the work still has to be done regardless of mood. And usually, at least for me, it's, it's a lengthy and meandering process where you also have to be practical. It's not always fun, but art for me, it goes beyond being entertained. It's beyond creating pretty pictures to hang on walls. It's also about asking questions and challenging assumptions and uh, exploring alternatives. And maybe more importantly, it's, it's about having something to say and saying it with your own individual voice, regardless of what other people expect of you. I think it's this recreation of an alternate weird universe that motivates me to keep on creating. So real imagery, for me, it, it provides a sense of empathy. You, you know, like chaos and unpredictability and unfairness, but also beauty. They're, they're all universal human experiences and they can all occur simultaneously. It's absurd if you think about it. The universe is indifferent to all this randomness. And within that context, a surreal image feels somewhat relatable. And that whole process, it, it gives me a sense of purpose. This project has been one of those journeys that was cooking slowly for the past couple of years, um, alongside other endeavors. A lot of ideas were discarded along the way, and maybe because they weren't good enough or maybe they didn't fit into this team. But it's all part of the bigger search. There's no end to it, really, it's not... It's not like you reach the top of the mountain and you can retire, it's, it's not that linear. In fact, it's more of a circle. At the end of the day, I did end up selling ravioli.